Good morning gamers, SoftKitty99 here back on the Creative Build server and I'm back in my little town at my town hall. And the last episode we finished building the town hall itself but we didn't do anything with the interior of it so I thought what I would do today is have a go at doing the interior and show you what I have decided to do with it. So I think the first thing to do is decide where we're going to put walls. I decided that I would like my mayor's office in this side of the building. So the mayor's going to want a, a nice size space for his room. And he's also going to want a little bit of space outside for his secretary or his aide or whatever. So I think what we're going to do is put the wall into the mayor's office here so that the lighting is still within the mayor's office to keep the place nice and bright but there's still enough space here for a desk in front for the assistant or secretary. So I'm going to put in a wall across here and then we'll be able to furnish the mayor's office here. And I'm just trying to decide where a good place for a door is going to be. I think what we'll do is we'll have a double door and I'll put it two away from the wall here so that we can put the assistant's desk and everything here and they'll still have space. And then on the opposite side of the building, I'm going to want some office space for the normal workers. So the people who have the higher paid jobs will want their own private space. So I think that I'm just trying to decide about this one. I think what I will do is I will put in the wall just in front of where the lights are and I'm going to split it so that one of the rooms is a little bit bigger than the other so like the main manager would have the slightly bigger and then their assistant would have the second one and then the other staff would have the space in an open plan office in front of that now I'm going to put the doors near to the walls because I'm going to put a staircase in here to lead up into that roof space so we can use the roof space as an archive section. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a staircase that goes in this direction then has a flat little landing and then goes back up in that direction to try and fit it in because we've got a really tall building, I think the stairs are going to have to wrap around so it'll come in, have a short landing, go back this direction, then go back this direction until it reaches the roof space. And it needs to enter in the centre of the roof space because we've got a sloping roof so that if it hit the edge of the building over there, you're not going to have enough headroom up at the top in order to get into the space. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back and show you what I'm going to do next. And I'm back. And I've put in the wall here in the mayor's office and we've got a double door here. We need to pop a door in there in a minute. Let's build a desk for our mayor. The best thing to do is decide where you're going to want the desk. I'm going to put the desk over in this side. I'm going to want the desk to be too wide. I would like the desk to appear to be a really big solid thing. So what I've done at the sides is I've placed the stairs pointing outwards in both directions and we're going to want to do the same again at the opposite side. So you'll need to place a spacer block so that you can put the upside down stair on one side and then remove those so that you can put it on the other side. And then the gap in the middle, if you fill that in with the slab, I think you've got something that looks like a really impressive desk. See that? I'm going to use a different colour wood to put in somewhere to sit. And of course, if he's doing meetings, he's going to want a place for people to sit. I'm going to put three chairs in here. I'm going to put one slightly further back, just so everything isn't quite as regular. I'm also going to put in bookcases at either side 
in place of filing cabinets or a small shelf or something you could put in. You can always pop a plant or something on the sides just to make it a little bit more decorative. I'm going to put a few more files here on the wall so that it does look like a proper place of business and work. And also for the mare, you're probably going to want somewhere a little bit more comfortable to sit for other types of meetings and chats as part of his work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a couple of parallel sofas. Make sure they're the same length if you're going to do that. And then you might want some carpet in between that. So let's see what would be a good colour to be sort of professional but quite nice to have as well. Let's see what can we take out. Let's do that. Let's try the blue, I think. Ooh. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice for a sort of professional office space. You could also get some slabs in for a coffee table I think hmm what shall we do shall we match the desks perhaps or should we do a different color let's use the door the color that we've used for the desks I think so find the center of your sofa which I think will be there and put your place a first place a block and then extend the coffee table as big as will fit in your space so I quite, quite like that. There you go. And then outside here I've made a smaller desk for the secretary or assistant. And another sort of sofa for the people waiting to see the mayor to sit. Then on the opposite side, where I said we'd have more officers, I've placed a few desks for the office staff. I've got space for file cabinets there and then we've got the two managers offices here so we've got a secretary's desk outside and the managers desk inside the office space and again a few bookcases and things to represent bookcases filing cabinets for the sort of business that you would have inside your town hall and then at the opposite side we've got the slightly smaller desk for the secretary here and the smart, slightly smaller office for the more junior member of the management team. This desk is just a slab in the centre and outward facing stairs at the sides just to give the desk a little bit of a different shape and feel. And I decided to change the way I was going to do the stairs instead of zigzagging back and forth which really didn't fit very well. What I've done is I've made a 5x5 five five square room so that interior you've got three squares of space. One of the walls of the 5x5 five five is the original wall for the dividing for the officers. So that inside you can put in the centre a column of the quartz blocks and around the side using the slabs so you go up half a step at each point to go around and make a spiral staircase. It's just the most economic space saving staircase I could fit in because we really don't have that much space in a really tall building. That just seemed to work the best for it. And then up here I've made it into a file storage area. So we've got lots and lots of bookcases. So what I did is I put the spiral staircase in and then I surrounded the edges with the bookcases so that no one can fall down the stairs but it also means you've got lots and lots of filing space because town halls tend to have lots and lots of records they do the the local taxes they do the local government things and they often also register births and deaths so they've got lots and lots of files that need to be kept here so we've got acres and acres of filing cabinets and where the columns for the lighting run up the walls downstairs I've left a gap between the columns of bookcases so that the light can shine through just to prevent this place being really really dark because if you put the bookcase in in front of the light see how much darker it suddenly is 
So if you leave those gaps where the lights are, it just lets more, more light in. And I've also run the sea lanterns around the top groove of the ceiling just to make the place a lot more light. So we've got bookcases everywhere all along here. I'll just give you a quick look at that. So we've got a little space for people to work. This is just a solid block in the centre and then stairs facing outwards all around the sides just to make a nice big table for working with the records. So that's what I've come up with so far. So the only thing that I haven't done now is the desks at the front of the building. So let's go down there and do that now quickly. Of course I haven't put doors into the offices, I, that's just one thing I haven't got around to yet. Right, so where you're near the front doors, you're going to want a reception desk and you're going to want somewhere for people to sit while they wait to see the staff. So I'm going to put a place to sit here from where the light is across. Let's make that even. Now we want to be one further across there to make that nice and even. So it sits all the way under the lights and then one block to either side of the lights there and do the same on the opposite side of the door. So it wants to run under the window and one block across, further across from the window. So it fills in this section there. And then we're going to want the desks for the staff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's in line with where the seat is. And I'm going to use the stairs to come out and up. I'm going to make it three long there and come across in fact I'm going to take it all the way to the end of the wall and then the staff have got space here to walk in to deal with the people coming in. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the opposite side. So coming across from where the sofas are, use the stairs to point outwards and bring it across as far. So you've got two gaps on the inside and the stairs face outwards all the way along. Now we're going to come up the wall, leave two gaps and then place the stairs, this time the wider section is at the top, well actually the wider section at the top in both but uh, yeah, that's what I mean is <laughs> that way thank you, no let's do it right yes, so that it looks like a sort of edge of a roof and bring it all the way around the top here so that it joins back to the wall. Now by doing this what you can do is use the sea lanterns to fill in this top section here so that you're adding a lot more light to the area again and then do the same on the other side and then we're almost finished. Let's just pop this in. Oh, make sure you get your angle right so that it actually faces in the direction that you want it to face in. So we come out by three, turn around the corner and come across. And this means that the town hall is now about finished. All I'm missing now is a few little more decorative touches so you can add in a few plants, maybe throw a few carpets and rugs and things around, make it all look lived in, possibly throw up a couple of pictures or paintings or something just to, to make it look a little bit more decorated and you are basically done. I know my furniture isn't the most inspired, but I do what I can with what we've got, and 
I hope that this has inspired you to build something of your own, maybe giving you some ideas for how you can make a town hall of your own in your own building uh, areas. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And from SoftKitty99, goodbye and happy gaming.